Hi there, I'm Steve in charge of product here at ZSpace, and today we're going to talk about how to put together a ZView kit on a ZSpace 300. You'll find all these parts in your ZView kit, the main arm, the attachment mechanism, little wrench and hex key, and the instructions. Finally, the camera, of course, that you're going to use comes in this little box. So let's get to putting it together. The first thing we do is flip it over so we have room to work. Then we pick up the black bracket and it has a screw with a washer that goes through the hole. You put the screw through the hole, then you take the hex key and screw it into the Z-Space 300. When you finish cranking it in at the bottom, you might hear a sort of squeaking sound. That just means it's getting tight, don't worry. The next thing we do is pick up the armature and the nut. And with the armature, you slide the armature through the hole and put the nut on the outside. I like to do it by hand first, tightening it up mostly, and then I take the wrench and give it a few more turns. Not too tight, because we'll do our final tightening once we've got it all standing up again. Now we stand the Z-Space 300 back up. Choose the angle you want it at, because that'll change where you put your Z-View kit and where the Z-View camera is looking. I'm gonna pick about 45 degrees, but you can pick 30 or others. Next, we position the arm, give it a little one more tightening turn in its upper position. So great, we're there, we're gonna tighten it up. Now we add the camera to the end. This part used to be a separate part and now it's attached. Screw that into the thread, nice and tight, helping use the camera to get it firm. Now I take the USB cord and plug it into the back of the Z-Space 300. I'm gonna flip the Z-Space 300 back onto its front a little bit so I can reach back and hit the USB port specifically for Z-View. Okay, turning it back up, positioning the camera, we're ready for software calibration. 